Hey y'all, what's up? It's Shane Alexis and I'm back with another video for y'all on my channel today and it's gonna be featuring this nice colorful glitter eyeliner. Y'all, I had to try this little um, trend that's going on out. I have a really fun glitter going on on my eye today with a yellow liner to outline it. Y'all, this came out so pretty. This look came out exactly how I wanted it to come out. It's so pretty, it's so fun. And I hope you guys really enjoy this video. But before we get into it, make sure y'all smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, turn on your post notifications so y'all never miss a single upload. Cause y'all don't wanna miss these bangers. 2021, happy new year y'all, hold up. I didn't even say happy new year happy new year y'all 2021 is about to be one for the books okay i mean 2020 was already one for the books but the history books but this one is about to be one for the good books the positive books the energy this year is about to be unmatched y'all about to see more uploads from me y'all about to get more stuff from me just buckle up and prepare for the ride i know that i say this every year but yesterday was really a sh yesterday last year was really a shitty ass year so we gotta turn up this year and we gotta make this one a banger okay so make sure y'all subscribe smash that like button happy new year let's make this year our bitch and let's just dive right into the video All right, y'all, so to start off this look, I'm gonna start with the brows, obviously. And I'm using my Anastasia Brow Wiz Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. Y'all already know. I mean, before I was using like an absolute New York pencil, but I just recently started using the Anastasia one again. And I mean, it's like the same thing, so it's not really that much of a big difference, but I'm just going to fill in my brows really quickly. Okay, so I'm now I'm gonna conceal my eyebrows with the Cover FX Power Pay, Power Pay, <laughs> with the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. This is in the shade G Deep Three, and then I'm going to prime my eyes with the P Louise and Mimi Mitchell Blank Canvas Base. Y'all, whenever I'm doing an eyeshadow look, I'm always using this base. Like I feel like I don't even have to say it anymore because I'm always gonna be using this base, and that's just that on that. Alright y'all, so I zoomed in so that y'all can see the eyes a little more. They're nice and primed. I'm not really doing shadow today because the liner is going to speak for itself, obviously. So I'm going to just go in with the Omrizi palette with just like um, maybe 1988 and a little bit of New Yorker. And just put that in my crease just for some definition and then we're going to get on with the liner. Okay, y'all, so for this glitter liner, first thing I'm going to do is take my Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't know why I said Anastasia like that. I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid liner, and I'm going to create a wing, a really nice wing to be the outline for the glitter. And for the glitter, I'm going to be using this Glow Up Academy glitter. Y'all, I am not too sure of the shade. I think it came off the bottom. Um, but it's just this really pretty really colorful glitter i'm trying to get it to focus and it looks like this y'all it's just like it has like almost every color in this glitter and i just thought it was so pretty and to outline that liner i'm going to use the fenty beauty yellow liner i don't know what it's banana blaze i'm going to use this but i'm going to mix it with water because it does crack and i seen a trick that said you can mix it with water to make it not crack but i also see people mix it with eyelash glue to make it not crack so 
I don't know which one I'm gonna try, but I'll let y'all know when we get to that step. But like I said, first I'm gonna use the Anastasia liner to create the perfect wing, and then we're gonna start with the glitter. Alright y'all, so now to start the part that I'm dreading, the only reason why I am dreading this part is because glitter gets everywhere y'all, like, y'all know that glitter don't got no filter, like, it just wants to get everywhere all the time. And my lashes are really curly, so my lashes are gonna have glitter all up in them. And I'm already like trying to mentally prepare for it, but I'm still gonna be annoyed. But anyway, like I said, I'm using that Glow Up Academy really colorful glitter. This is by a black owned brand. Hello, support your black owned businesses. And I'm gonna be using lash glue to stick the glitter on. Okay, y'all, so this is what the liner is looking like with just the glitter. Y'all, y'all should have seen the struggle, okay? Y'all should have seen the struggle, me trying to put this glitter behind my lashes. It looks really kind of messy right now, but once I put the yellow liner, it's going to tie it all together. And then once I do the face and put the lashes on, it's really going to tie it together. So now I am going to take the yellow liner and banana blades and I'm going to mix it with some eyelash glue and then I'm going to outline the wing. Okay, you guys, so this is what the liner is looking like. What do y'all think? I think it looks so nice. I feel like I'm gonna wind up adding a little more definition in my crease. Maybe, maybe not. I might keep it just simple because maybe once I add the lashes, it'll give me the look that I'm looking for. But we are going to get started on the face. So for primer today, I'm gonna be using the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. Y'all, this is like such a good primer. I've been trying not to use it all the time, even though I really, really like it because it's hella expensive. But you guys should definitely try this out. And for foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Y'all, I haven't used this foundation in forever. But I remember really loving the heck out of it. So I picked up another bottle and I'm going to be using that today. And for concealer, I'm going to be using the KKW Beauty Concealer in the shade 14. For powder, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Loose Finishing Set Powder in the shade Deep 35. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite powders okay if you know you know 
And for all over face powder, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Powder in the shade 375. So basically, I'm gonna be using for my complexion, basically the whole Maybelline Fit Me line besides the concealer. Like, it's just a Maybelline type of day today, honey. Y'all, please don't mind my one nail missing polish. Um, I tore a piece of my nail bed off, so I couldn't polish this one, but all of the other ones look cute, right? So please do not mind this nail. I have to wait for it to heal before I can put polish on it, so just don't pay any attention. Y'all, I think I was out of focus that whole time blended in my foundation. Like, I really think I was out of focus the whole time. I was so focused on trying to blend it correctly. I was like all the way over there. Like, what is good with me? But y'all get the gist. Y'all see how it's looking now. It's all blended. Well, I'm still blending, but it's all blended in now. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to be using the KKW Beauty Concealer in the shade 14. And I'm just going to apply the tiniest bit in the places that I like to highlight. I'm just gonna take my Real Techniques brush and I'm just gonna blend that concealer out. All right, y'all, so now that my concealer is all blended out and looking flawless, I'm just gonna take my sponge and I'm just gonna go over it one time to soak up any excess product. And then we're just gonna go right in with the Maybelline Fit Me Setting Powder. And we're just gonna set the face. So now I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me setting powder in the shade 375 Java and I'm gonna set the rest of my face. And as I'm setting the rest of my face, I am gonna lightly sweep over the places that I highlighted just so that it'll blend a little better. I'm gonna zoom y'all out so we can finish the rest of the face. Okay, you guys, so to bronze, I'm gonna take my Morphe Glamour Bronze Face and Body Bronzer in the shade Prodigy. It looks like this. It's really, really red. So um, I like to just take a big giant brush. So now that I'm bronzed, I'm gonna take my Golden Hour Tammy X Revolution Makeup Palette. This is in the Deep Dark Palette, y'all. If you are brown skin, dark skin, and you don't have this palette, what are you doing? Like, this is my favorite face palette. I'm just going to take the darkest shade. Y'all, it's real dark. This is contour chic, and I'm just going to contour with it. I'm just going to take a tighter brush, and I'm just going to dip my brush in there like twice. Tap off the excess, and just get the real high point of my cheek. I'm gonna get the high points of my temples and everything. I mean, the high points of my temples, that don't really sound right, but I feel like y'all know what I mean. Like, I'm gonna get the very outer perimeter of my face. I'm also gonna take this Luna Magic brush. I got this in a BoxyCharm box. It looks like this. It's like an angled fan brush. Perfect perfect for contouring your nose so i'm just gonna dip that in the same shade only one time though because the last thing you want is your nose contour to look crazy so i'm just gonna take that brush and just sweep that color down the sides of my nose as you guys can see it's just like so easy to contour with this brush like it's really hard to mess up your nose contour with this brush 
so if you guys can find it then i suggest getting it because it's a good brush so i'm also gonna take the blush out of this palette this is called blushed baby girl it's one of my favorite blushes like it really is and i'm just gonna load that up on the brush because i like a lot of blush and i'm just gonna put that at the higher points of my face i don't really put it too much on the apples of my cheeks i like to start off at the tops of my cheeks like out here and then put the excess on the apples and y'all already know i'm gonna blush up my nose because i just love it i think it's so cute okay y'all so i do want to cut out my cheeks i'm gonna use my laura mercier translucent medium deep powder to do that because the maybelline fit me powder i mean it's just a little too like light to do that i don't really like it to look like like a beard i don't that's not cute so i'm just gonna take this powder and i'm going to cut my cheekbones I'm also gonna take the excess and just cut the sides of my nose just a little bit because I don't want it to be too dramatic, but I do want it to be a little cleaner. All right, y'all, so I don't really like to leave my bake on for that long, so I'm just gonna wipe it off now with the same brush I put my all over face powder with so that it just blends nicely and effortlessly. So now I'm gonna set my eyebrows with some clear brow gel. This is the e.l.f. clear brow gel, one of my favorites. Um, and I'm just gonna set my brows. I'm gonna brush them upward so that they look really bushy. Well, not really bushy, but like bushy enough. <laughs> so before I highlight, I'm actually going to put on some mascara so that the mascara can start to dry down by the time I finish highlighting. Um, this is the Laura Geller i don't know what it's called specifically but this is a laura geller mascara and this is in the shade black obviously and i'm just gonna pop some of this on to prep them for my false lashes Okay, you guys so to highlight today i'm going to take my mac and tiana taylor collaboration highlighter this is in the shade house of petunia and if you know tiana you know that that is like her catchphrase that's her house okay and um i'm just gonna use this to highlight i'm gonna start off with the nose y'all i love this highlight because it's not too extra i mean you can make it intense if you really want it to be Y'all, I have not been liking like too much highlighter recently. I literally just like slap it on there just to give my face a little bit of a glow. And then that's it. Like, I mean, I guess it looks like I'm doing OD now, but only because like this look is extra. So, you know, the face gotta be extra too. I'm gonna go in with my Pat McGrath Lab Sublime Highlight um, Palette and I'm just gonna take the gold shade which is the shade in the middle and I'm gonna pop that in my inner corner. Woo! Y'all see how blinding that is? Honey, if you don't have this palette, <laughs> congratulations. You played yourself. Go get it. I don't even know if she still makes this anymore, but go get it. You A little goes a long way. This palette will last you centuries upon centuries. I'm just going to pop a little tiny bit on the tip of my nose right here just to make it cute. And that's it. What I'm going to do right now is pop my lashes on and then I'll be back to finish up the lower line and do the lips. Okay, y'all, I'm back and the lashes are on. I'm using the V-Lux by INV Real Mink Lashes. The style is in Love Rose Gold. I love that the beauty supply store sells 25 millimeter mink lashes now. Like, it's just so easy to access rather than always ordering them online. But this is what the look is looking like so far. So to start off with the lips, I'm going to be taking my B. Simone Beauty Lip Liner and Time Will Tell. This is one of my favorite brown lip liners, y'all. And I'm just going to line my lips. <laughs> Thank you. 
So next, I'm going to go in with two NYX products. I'm going to go in with the NYX Professional Matte Lipstick in the shade Butter. It's just a really cute nude shade. And then I'm going to use the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie on top. I want to go for like a more pinky nude today. So that is the combination. I'm just going to apply like that much of this. Not too much because it is very matte. So after I like pat my lips together enough, I'm gonna apply the lip gloss. And that is the finished lips. So now we are gonna finish under the eyes before we are done with this look. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to take my Urban Decay and Jean Michael Basquiat eyeliner pencil. This is the 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner Pencil, and this is in the shade Vivid. Y'all, I bought this collection and did a review on this collection, so if y'all want to see that, it's kind of old, like, actually really old, <laughs> but um, I still have all the stuff from this collection because I will never get rid of it because... Basquiat is just my spirit animal. I showed you guys before that I have a Basquiat crown tattooed on me. If you saw my hairy armpits, do not mind it. But yeah, um, this is the liner in the shade Vivid and I'm just gonna apply that into my waterline. Y'all, I'm tearing up. I'm not used to putting things in my waterline anymore. Like, I stopped putting um, eyeliner in my waterline a long time ago. And sorry, I had to like fix up my lash. It was looking a little wacky. Okay, you guys, so this is what the liner is looking like in the waterline. It's looking super pretty. And now I'm just gonna apply some mascara to my lower lashes. I'm not gonna really put any shadow on the lower lash line because I don't really have any eyeshadow on at all anyway. So I'm just gonna apply some lower mascara and that's it. Okay, y'all, so here is the finished look. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this look as I enjoyed creating it for y'all. It was definitely kind of difficult because the glitter is so chunky and my lashes are so curly, so it was hard to get the glitter behind my eyelashes, but I did it, clearly. I know, I knew I could do it. Like, I am very creative and talented and that's not to be cocky but i know i am and i know that i'm capable of doing a lot i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and if you guys liked it make sure y'all leave a like down below make sure y'all subscribe 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 smash that subscribe button smash that like button leave a comment down below if y'all want to see more videos from me let me know what y'all want to see i hope you guys are watching my vlogs from vegas and i hope you guys enjoyed that as well so you guys got to see a little bit of my life outside of like this beauty stuff but I really do hope you guys enjoyed this look. It's so beautiful and colorful. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one. I love y'all so, 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 so much. Bye.